Hello! So it's officially day one of Kozathon. I'm getting ready for the kickoff sprints, which start in like less than five minutes. So I am excited. I can't believe it's already January 1st. I don't really have a fully set TBR for the, the entire Kozathon. Like I'm gonna sort of mood read. I do have like a few books that I want to get to that I need to read. One of them being Lonely Castle in the Mirror, which is like a book club pick for Mel's Patreon for December. And yes, I know I said December, but you know, I'm never on time for anything. So <laughs> I am going to start sprinting and I'm going to try and vlog because I didn't vlog the last couple of thoughts. I'm going to try and vlog this time. Um, but I'm excited. I'm so freaking excited. I don't have on my merch yet because I haven't received it. Like I don't think it's shipped yet. No, I think it's shipped yet. So, thankfully, you know, once it comes, I'll be rocking my Cosathon merch. I could have worn my prior year one, but I wasn't in the mood for, like, red right now. I wanted to wear, like, pink, so that's why I have on this. But I'm excited. I'm so excited. I have my coffee because I need we're going to be sprinting for a while today. I think we're going for maybe 10 hours, so we shall see. Um... I would show you the book I'm reading, but my camera is currently holding the book up, so you guys will just see the book later on today. But I'm excited. I'm so freaking excited to, like, just do this. <laughs> I just hope I don't run out of momentum, you know, like, during it. Like, I know, like, sometimes, when I, like, a readathon is, like, too long, like, it's, like, if it's a week, it's, like, okay, perfect, but you don't get much read. And then if you do two weeks, you're, like, mm, okay. But January is a long month and I feel like everybody needs that buffer time. So I'm hoping that we can keep the momentum going. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to get ready to go sprint so that I can be on time for these damn sprints. <laughs> for once, at least for once. But yeah, I'm going to be reading Lonely Castle in the Mirror, Lonely Castle in the Mirror and we're going to vibe off of that <laughs> for the rest of the month. So yeah, see you for now. Um, but yeah. Hey say. guys, so I'm here to update like my first chapter of A Lonely Castle in the Mirror. So this is my takeaway so far of what the book is about. So we're following Kokoro and she's in seventh grade, but she's not attending school. She appears to have like depression and there's mention of an incident which I would like to believe means that a suicidal attempt was made at some point in her life. Now I think the last time she attended school was April and the first chapter is basically May. So that means this, this is like a month after whatever happened in April. Um, so we're now trying to get to like the beginning of the story where I guess the fantastical elements are now being introduced and she's pulled through a mirror and she's in a castle with seven other kids, six other kids, because she makes the seventh one. And they have a mission told by the secretive wolf queen that they need to find a key and they have until March 30th of the next year basically to find the key and whoever finds the key will be able or will be granted like one wish. Now I want to assume that the other kids are also dealing with you know some form of depression or mental health issue and so I want to believe the key is something along the lines of them finding that belongingness and feeling that okay feeling that they feel that they don't have right now. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just curious to see how this is going to end. Um, I don't have any real thoughts on if I like it or not, <laughs> but we're going to continue going and see how it goes. Next chapter is June, so... Um, I'm going to read a few more and then hopefully I have like a proper update. The writing is a bit jarring, I will say that. And I don't like it the fact that it's very like, like one chapter is one month. So May was like 47 pages long. <laughs> I prefer like really short chapters and my attention span is dragging with these long ass. Like this is chapter breaks, don't get me wrong. But I've had just like short chapters. Like I just prefer it <laughs> for my attention span it just works better but otherwise no no other updates so hopefully i'll have something for you guys later hey guys so it's like four o'clock and i'm now like 25 percent into lonely castle in the mirror and 
and I'm like it liking it more now than when I first started like the kids are bonding with each other slowly but surely and we're getting more of Kokoro's past like more of the stories unfolding about what happened or at least be part of what has happened and so I'm starting to really feel for her because what she's gone through so far from what's revealed is traumatizing and actually scary like Imagine just being so emotionally vulnerable. For that, well, I'm trying to remember how mean middle school children can be. I don't know, I feel like, I'm trying to figure out which I would not prefer if I had a choice. I think maybe high schoolers. High schoolers can be like pretty mean and I feel like if I was being bullied by a high schooler versus a middle grader, middle school age person, uh, yeah, no. So, I'm trying not to spoil, this is so hard. But I, I just wanna say that I feel sorry for her and I think this castle is going to help her get to build up those walls that she have, help build up that vulnerability a little bit to help give her the strength to face her her life. Because I feel like right now, what she's experiencing physically, I think it's brought on by everything she's going through mentally. Like her stomach ache is tied to her fear and her trauma. At least that's what I'm getting and that's, what, that's how I am interpreting it. Um, and I think that's what it's meant to be interpreted as. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. And she actually does physically have a stomach ache. But I feel like her physical ailments is tied to her emotional ailments. So, yeah. Um, I am actually a little bit scared that there's a sexual assault in here. I am not sure if, if there is. And if there is, ooh. Given everything else that I already know so far. My girl been through a lot. So I'm already 96 pages and I'm hoping to get to maybe page 150 today and then tomorrow finish like the last part of the book because it's only 377 pages so it's not very long and I think I can do it. It's only like, yeah, it's only four. So I still have time and if I'm trying to get to page 150, I'm already at 96. That's like roughly 50 something pages I have left to read and given it's still so early, I think I can do it. So yeah, I'm about to go continue reading, finish up the sprints, and yeah, I guess I'll update you guys at the 50% mark. Good morning, it's day two of Kozathon, which is Monday? Yes, it's Monday. I'm so thrown off because the new year was acted on a Sunday, and then we got Monday in observation for new year being on a Sunday. So technically I should be at work in a way if it wasn't the fact that it's a holiday. Anyways, <laughs> I am now 55% into Lonely Castle in the Mirror and I actually have much more thoughts now. I, I'm actually liking this. I don't know if before I mentioned how I wasn't feeling connected. Um, we're not really connected but I wasn't that, yeah I will use the, word term, the term connected. I wasn't feeling that connected to the story, I, I needed more, and I got the more I wanted. Now, there's still more for me to discover, because we still don't know the backstories or like the more in-depth stories for a few of the characters, especially ones I think who are very pivotal in this, in the group. We have the older student, Aki, I think that's her name, like Aki. I, I really wanna know what's, what her story is like why she doesn't want to go to school I can understand the others and the ones that who have like we've learned more about I can understand where they're coming from there was even one that was different from what I expected and I like that I like that that surprised me that it wasn't something I would have figured um, would be the case for that particular individual but individuals like Aki and Fuka the two other females in this group I still don't really know much about we've we've learned more we've discovered more about the males 
but I want to learn about the females. <laughs> so, oh, I hope I'm not getting sick. So I'm curious. I'm really curious to see what their story is. We're about to enter the third semester and I believe all will be revealed in that, in this side. I have a theory about the free school teacher, Miss Kitajum, Kitajum, I can't remember her name. I can't remember how it's spelled, so I can't try to pronounce it correctly. But it's this professor um, or teacher and I'm curious, I have a theory about her and like who she is or who she could be related to and I'm wondering if it's gonna play out. I don't know, if it doesn't, then psh, I don't know what my brain is doing and computing with, but I don't know, I'm liking this. I am actually liking this. I've grown a little bit of an attachment to Kokoro. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, guys. <laughs> Let's call her Coco. I'm hoping I'm, I'm growing an attachment to Coco in she's growing as a character she's growing and do you have there have been some reveals that especially when it comes to some people in her life that i think makes me very proud of her for making these steps forward because it felt for a quick second like it felt like she wasn't going to ever get to that point because of how she was feeling and also like this the environment that she felt she was in and so it was great to see her make strides on that front. The one thing <laughs> I will say is it took the group a bit too long for my liking and even the Wolf Queen called them out on it for how they decided to like finally like sort of open up to each other. Like we were basically almost two semesters, almost the end of the second semester before something happened, something so trivial well, it wasn't that trivial, but something else trivial happened that helped bring them out of their comfort zone a little bit and start to like not really talk to each other because they were already doing it bits and pieces with their little friend inner circle friend groups. But it was not to the level of what it was like after a reveal happened. And I was just like, you know what? This is on y'all. Y'all could have, y'all, no one was preventing you from talking to each other. At the end of the day, you have to feel comfortable and ready, but however long you take you have to take accountability for that <laughs> you can't blame someone else um essentially for the how how slow or fast or the pacing of when you feel ready to do so and so when the review was made and everyone was just like but why 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 didn't we know and i'm just here like because as as she said you didn't act you didn't talk <laughs> you didn't talk to each other so Did you know yeah so yeah i'm liking it i think my star rating prediction is that i'm going to give this four stars i think depending on how it plays out in the last 45 percent um and i don't think there's anything that's gonna happen that's gonna make me drop my rating lower it's definitely not a five star for me but i think it's a really good book and i think if you're into books like these especially during the trigger warnings are not going to affect you then I think everyone should give this a read. Like, I really do. It's it's a nice book. And I'm happy that I decided to get it after all. Although the reason I picked this up was because of the cover and not because it was a book club pick. The cover, the cover really got me. And I'm liking how I can see the title pull in to the whole story. So, yeah, guys, read this book. If you're, if you're looking to, especially if you're not something like a genre you typically read, I would say give this book a try. It's, um, the writing at first can be a little jarring. I'm not, a, it's a translation. So I'm not, I wasn't accustomed to this whole setting and make it worse, it was not <laughs> done by like short chapters. These are some really long chapters and they're not typical chapters where you go chapter one, two, three, this is told, and I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is told over periods of months. So it started off in May um, and I'm gonna assume the last month will be March because of the stipulation of how the castle works so if it's not March maybe April or maybe the epilogue would be April which would be the new school year so it's basically you know told over a, month, a year one year and it's good I'm actually enjoying it and I can't see myself giving anything lower than a four star so it would be a good read and then I think the next book I want to read one second I have a pile of books on the floor. 
is Alone With You in the Ether by Olive 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 Bake, I think. Yeah, so I have the Waterstones editions. Like, can you can you see how pretty that is? If it would only focus. Here we go. So I have the Waterstones edition. It's not very long, but because I have to work this week, starting from tomorrow, I don't know if I'll get it done as fast as I typically would get reading done. So it's 200 and... Is this like an epilogue or something? A prologue? <laughs> oh, this is for her other book, One with My Enemy. Um, so this ends up, it looks like maybe 262. Yeah, my copy, technically, this, I think the story ends at 262. So realistically, not very long. And I think I may read this second because I know Kay is reading it. And so I want to share her thoughts on it. So, and it's short again. This will be this will be my anticipated read. It could also be my short book. So I have a, two options. I could read Everyone's an Alien Bee When You're Alien. Everyone's an Alien Bean When You're Alien Bean 2, I think is the title of the graphic novel. I could read it for my short book because it's kind of in the same theme of this first one, Looney Castle in the Mirror, I think. Um, so I could read that and then use this alone for my anticipated read. We shall see. We shall see. Nothing is fully decided nothing is permanent yet so yeah that's all the update i have for now i i am sprinting right now and i'm about to film my book haul because i have so many books like i have a lot of books here so i want to film my book haul after this reading update and then hopefully get some reading done if not in the second sprint the third sprint <laughs> this book haul may take a while so yeah anyways yeah that's all for now and i'll update you when i'm finished i don't think i'll do a 75 percent mark unless something really pivotal happens where i need to <laughs> react and share my thoughts otherwise you guys will see me when i finish the book Today is Tuesday. I had to check my phone. Today's Tuesday. I haven't read much today because I had to work. But I did read like a few pages. Maybe five to six pages of Lonely Castle in the Mirror. So I still have this. And I'm thinking I could finish it today, tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but, but I have a haul for you guys because... Today is like deliver packages day it seems. Now I have a bunch of things out for delivery today. I had one, two, three. So four things are out for delivery today. Um, one of them is not here yet I think. I haven't checked my um, app to see if it's been delivered. But it's been delivered by our local post and it goes into the community mailbox so I'm not stressed too much about that. However, I was only expecting the two other packages and not the third, the fourth one, I guess. Um, but let's just, I know y'all know these, so let's go. So let's go for the first ones that are kind of bothering my nose at the moment. So let's go through this first. So I did a Bat and Body Works order. I wasn't planning to at all because um, I still have a few candles I have not yet lit. But then I realized I don't really want to buy any until like next Christmas. I bought four candles. Um, they come in these boxes i might put them back in the same box so i got frozen lake i really love me some like nature smelling type candles okay yeah i like this one i already have one of this but i'm about to start burning it soon so i wanted to have a backup and the one i have doesn't actually look like this so i may just burn this one first and leave the other one which has like a more plain labeling for like a later like a latter part of the year maybe i don't know but since this one is like giving penguins and stuff and it's winter 
I will likely use that one. And then the one I, so one of my favorite candles is Fall Morning, but they don't seem to have it, or at least I couldn't find it. So I got, I can't remember which one it is, but it's not this one. I really thought it was this one. This one says Crisp Morning Air. I like the color of the jar. Like it's, okay, yeah, this smells nice. It smells nice so again more nature smelling candles I do have sweet smelling candles that I own don't get me wrong I do own a few sweet smelling um, ones I have like a coffee smelling one a marshmallow fireside one I think as well um, but yeah and then I do have mahogany teakwood now this is the first time I've ever purchased mahogany teakwood my friend usually you know they smell it she, that's like one of her favorite scents and the only thing she usually gets so i know how this one smells and this is the one i decided to buy hmm smells like a man so yeah and then the last one which is the one i really thought i was going to show you at first was afternoon rainfall so this is what it looks like i like the blue on the leaves on it Oh, this smells even better than fall morning. Mm. So yeah, we do have, these are the only candle candles that I bought. And then I have like accessories and hand soap that I also bought. So let's get through this. So for the candles, I got two of these. These are like candle stands. I, I'm trying to decide if I want this in the living room or my bedroom. Now I got these so that they could be like separate from like not be, take up surface space. But she's like for the entertainment stand we have in the living room. The TV is literally sitting on it so we lose space that way. And I kind of wanted to have something to like kind of raise the candles off of the surface next to the speaker and whatnot. So I have two of these. I'm not going to pull out the second one. And then I have this hand soap holder thing. I think it's so pretty. Like look at this so pretty so I kind of want to put this in my bathroom because most of the hands up I bought were for my bathroom so I do have fresh rainfall and this is what it would look like in the hands up holder so it fits perfectly I also have this is poppy don't know what this smells like but bought it as well okay yep it did it and it also fits. Let's see. Okay. It's, it almost reminds me of like, you know those cherry blossom scented stuff? That's what it reminds me of. So yeah, we do have that. And it all, obviously, I got Frozen Lake in the hand soap as well because, you know, guys, I think you're, you're, you're noticing a pattern here. So yeah. And then I did buy two wall plugs. So this was the first one that I bought. The one I originally wanted was sold out when I was adding it to my basket. Like I was checking out and it was like, oh, this is no longer available. So I was really sad. So I went with this. I'm not a huge flower person, if I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not a huge flower person or a huge pink person, but my options were limited. Like I wasn't gonna pay, pay full price for this. So I just went with the ones that they had. But it is pretty. I will give it that. It is pretty. I guess. Oh, it had like a picture of what it's supposed to look like, I guess. So yeah. Um, these I again probably going in my room. And then I got a lot of refills. So I got two of the packs of refills for the wall plug. So this one is the eucalyptus rain. I feel like I forgot what that smells like. Is this similar to the, I'm assuming it's somewhat similar to Frozen Lake. Um, they weren't 20 cents, I was that crazy about, but I do have Eucalyptus Rain and it says here, um, Aromatic Eucalyptus Spearmint Leaves Fresh Spring Rain. So, decent natural nature smelling type things. And then we have a floral one. This is Soft Rose Petals Rain Kissed Ivy and Spring Moss. So I got one of this and two of these. So in total, I probably have like six refills 
um, and that should hopefully last me a long time because I don't keep these things plugged in and used all the time so yeah then I got some Crocs so I've never actually owned like <laughs> real Crocs I've only ever owned like fake Crocs so Crocs is having sale and I bought one for my friend. I'm gonna show it because she, I know she's not gonna watch my video. <laughs> but these are the gray ones. So I got gray. Um, these are size what? I think these are woman size eight. Yeah, woman size eight, men size six. So I got the gray. Um, don't know where I'm putting these yet because I'm like trying to think of like spacing wise in my like closets and stuff where I'm putting all these crocs because I got three for myself and then one for my friend and I still want one more <laughs> the same one I bought for my friend is the one I want and I have this color it's like a blue like a almost like a baby blue it's called pure water I think yes oh it's it's cute these I don't think we wear crocs outside like that however I, I am going to like wear some of these outside now the one I have here, the last one I have here that belongs to me, I'm contemplating either selling um, because I was going to say or gift in, but I can't think of anyone who would fit. It'd be too small for some, for some of my friends I know and too big for everyone else. And it's this color. This is the color I really wanted the most. It's a lilac color and I only, at a time I could only get it in size 9. And I love the color. Like, it's a pretty purple. But, man, it's a little bit big. Like, it's... And at first, I was like, I didn't care. But when I, when I tried it on, I was like, e yeah, it is a little bit big. And I have on thick socks when I tried this on. And I was like, I typically wear thin socks. So, I may just sell these. I may just sell these. And when I'm ordering my pair of whites, cause like, because it took so long to ship... I think I ordered these like sometime in the early weeks of December. It took so long to ship that Crocs gave me um, some money off. I think it was like 20 bucks off. And I didn't apply to any order. So I may, while they're still on sale, I'll place an order for the size I want. And I'll get the white and the lilac. And then try to sell these. I don't think I'll fit up to too much. Maybe 40, 40 bucks. I think they, they cost way more than that. Let me tell you now. Even though, on, they were, even though they were on sale, they still cost a pretty penny. And then these are the white ones that my friend really wants. So I didn't think I wanted a white until I looked at it again and I'm like, no, I really want the white. So I want a pair of the white and the lilac. Oh, this is so cute. This is my friend's Christmas present. She owns almost every possible color. <laughs> Well, not every possible color. She owns a lot of crocs in different colors, but she doesn't own. She owns the white, I think, in like the fur lined ones, and not like the plain ones. So I got her this one for her Christmas. It only just came in, but you know we're grown adults. She can get a present after that. Um, so yeah, those are all the stuff I had come in, except for my other package. Um, let me see if it was delivered. My sister's here. It wasn't delivered, not yet. Oh, want to come say hi to the vlog? No? <laughs> Guys, you don't want to say hi, so yeah, you're not going to see her. Um, but yeah, my package is not yet delivered, so I don't think I'm going to show you guys what that until I don't remember what I bought. I, I bought some leggings, and I think I bought some, um, leggings and what? I think they were like mostly workout clothes. I could be wrong. But knowing my lazy self, I'm not gonna put it on. So you guys are out of luck. Um, I have, as I said, no update on the book. So <laughs> I'm gonna finish up, like, put away these stuff, and then I'm going to see if I can get some reading done because I wanna finish this book. And it was getting really, really, really good. Like <laughs> shit was happening, so I wanna continue. So yeah, hopefully I have an update for you guys later tonight. Bye. I'm not even at the end end yet and I'm already crying.
There's a scene that happens between two of the male characters, Subaru and Maza, Mazamun, Mazamon. And it was like a full circle moment. And that's what made me cry. I think the fact that this character said something earlier in the book and has mentioned it a few times and now I'm at the end where things are starting to make sense and he says, his friend says what he says and I'm just here like, you weren't lying. He wasn't lying. I don't know if he were, he's good. I can't spoil it, but I don't know. Because I, this is still only the closure. But if this is what I think it is, wow. This is only two characters. I still have to, I still have to read about the other characters, right? I still need to figure out what's going to happen to Aki. I still need to figure out what's going to happen to Fuka, Kokoro, Ryan, Rion. And I'm already crying. Oh, Yurashino. How I forget about Yurashino. Oh, God. Guys. I have less than probably 20, 30 something pages left. So I'll share my thoughts once I'm done. Hopefully, I'm not like totally bawling my eyes out at the end. But for now, I'm giving this, I think, I can say safely that this is like four stars. Like, usually when books make me emotional, I give it five. But there's certain things that will, that kind of make me feel like holding back. Um, like, this doesn't feel like a five for me. This feels like a four. Could be four and a half, but it's definitely a solid four because I really enjoyed this. I didn't think I would at all. Um... But I, I really did enjoy this. It did, it did get me to cry. First book of the year and tears have flowed. But yeah. I finally finished Lonely Castle in the Mirror. And I gave it four and a half stars. I had to bump it up because... The epilogue, it made me cry again. <sighs> this is my, these are my thoughts for this book. The connections between all the children were done beautifully. I will give it that. I will, I think it was done beautifully. It touched on topics that are very difficult and I don't, usually read difficult topics, topics that deal with like bullying and sexual assault and basically abandonment and stuff like that. I don't typically read those um, type of topics because it makes me really emotional and so I love that the author made me empathize with the characters even when I was frustrated with them. I still felt empathy for them and everything they were going through and have gone through. Um, the one thing, the one reason I didn't give this like a five star is first of all, it didn't feel like a five star, but it definitely felt more than a four star for me. And then also, so we get in the end and you get some of a glimpse of some of the characters. But I would have liked to have seen a glimpse of all of them. You see the connections of a few, and I just wanted to see connections of all. Like I feel like had they give had it given me the connections for all the others, I would have given it five. Like I really would have. Cause now I'm just gonna be wondering, did like what happened to those characters, like did their realization, you know, hit or whatever? Like, I don't know. It's like that very open ending type of. I don't know if they. I don't know what happens to the other characters. 
At least I know what happened to some of them, but I want to know what happened to all of them. Like, look at me epilogue, I only give me half. So, yeah. The writing, I remember I mentioned earlier in the vlog that it was very jarring, and it kind of grew on me. Essentially, there were grammatical errors, there were some, um, um, and it wasn't a lot. I think it could probably come on my hand, like one hand, how much time I encountered it, so it was fine. But yeah. I enjoyed it. I really did. For my first book of the year and it made me cry. So, I may not have gotten that five star, but I think it was still a good book to start off the year. So the next book I plan to read is Alone With You in the Ether. I would get up and get it, but I'm too lazy. It's on the floor right now behind my bookshelves because um, I haven't put it in the shelf. I haven't shelved in my books yet since I did the haul. So I'm not going to read that tonight. I My brain is fried. I have a headache. I have a serious headache and I don't know if it's from the crying because I didn't have one all day um, but I feel like I've had a headache for like the past maybe half an hour so I'm not gonna push myself and read anything else for the night um, but I am gonna crawl into bed I think and maybe watch some booktube I haven't been watching booktube really lately so it's more it's been more than lately it's been a few months now I've been on and off of booktube like watching videos I'm so behind and at this point I, I'm no longer care anymore <laughs> I no longer care but I think I'm in the mood to watch like watch something I'm not in the mood to watch a show so I mean I might either watch booktube or watch an anime so yeah anyways I'll give you guys an update tomorrow but look at me vlogging and shit Good night. hello so it's Friday night January 6th and I haven't picked up the camera in days because I haven't felt like it. I've been tired. I've been working all week except for Monday so I've been tired and I wanted to give you guys an update because I'm now 50% into Alone With You In The Ether and I wanted to share my thoughts so far. So when I first started I thought it was weird but only in the way that Blake can be weird because Blake writes very specific like I don't know how to describe it it's very different and so I wasn't sure if I was going to warm up to write in but I have I absolutely have and I'm enjoying it it's like sitting at the fourth star right now so we've got a few things happening right we've had a bit of foreplay without foreplay <laughs> I know that sounds weird you know like there's typically physical foreplay between two people there was no physical aspect to the foreplay, but it was there. And I felt like I was intruding on this foreplay. So it was really good. I will give it that. I was astounded. But I'm really liking the way the minds of these two main characters, like how they operate, like how they think, how they break apart the world. It's very interesting. And it kind of has me doing the same thing introspectively um, I caught myself today on the bus to work thinking about my debt and that sounds very morbid but not in a bad way and that's how this book has me it has me thinking but not like forcing me to think but it is encouraging me to like explore my mind and stuff so yeah um really enjoying it it's a four star I just haven't been feeling like reading tonight like my mood is so not there so I'm gonna see how many more pages I can get read before I call it a night. I just bought three games. Was it three? Three games, I believe. What was it four? Could have been four. I just bought some games because I got an email from Nintendo saying that they were having a New Year's sale. So I bought Big Brain Academy. Um, I also bought Stardew Valley because it was like basically half off, right? And it was a game that was 75% off it was like 20 something bucks Canadian and it was called Little Dragons Cafe I got this from a youtuber I can't remember her name um, but I watched her um, talk about it and I was like this seems like a good game and it was like 75 99 and I was like yeah I'm not buying it so I had it in my wish list and it was on sale for 27 bucks so I snatched it up quickly and I, I'm mad because I bought Disney Dreamlight Valley like two weeks ago I think or maybe it was a week ago could have been two weeks and it's on sale. It's on sale right now for 30% off. And I'm sad because I bought the Ultimate Edition and I could have paid way less. I could have paid way less if I had waited. But yeah, 
I did not, so yeah. I did have a few books come in. Um, I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do a haul tonight or do it in the morning. I feel like I should do it in the morning and not tonight. So in the morning, I'll show you the books and graphic novel and manga that came in today and yesterday. Um, just because I just don't have energy to lift them up. <laughs> but that's the only update I have. That's all the update. Nothing else. So I'm enjoying it along with you in the ether. I bought some Switch games and I also have some new books coming in. Um, but yeah. That's my update. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, so this is me on Sunday morning or afternoon, closing up the vlog for week one of Cozathon. I actually finished two books in the first week. I did A Lonely Cast in the Mirror, as you would have seen. And I don't know if I actually ever updated about Alone with You in the Ether. I think I started this on Wednesday and I finished it last night. Um, but yeah, I actually made it a couple minutes just before um, midnight to finish this one. But I did give a Lonely Castle in the Mirror four and a half stars. It really surprised me. It made me cry so much. I think I cried like three times in like the last quarter of the book. Um, because I think at that point I had already started to bond with the characters and like hearing their backstory finally and knowing what they were going through, it really it really touched me. So, you know, first book of the year, having me in tears is a good sign in my opinion. And if you're looking for a fiction that touches on somewhat heavy topics set in a different culture, this is set in Japan, I think you will enjoy it. The Fantastical Elements did have me thinking I was tripping a little bit. I was just like, what the hell is going on? I did not guess um, what was going on with the kids, like, at all, in terms of the, not the, not their, um, issues or problems, but in terms of them being in the same castle, I did not guess the <laughs> circumstances that brought it together. So, in my opinion, tears and keeping me on my toes and surprise is a win. And then, I want to continue down reading, continue the path down reading, like, weirdish topics with themes again and this one we are following two broken people who are learning to love each other and we have lots of talks about bees and time and space i really don't think i cared at all i don't think i know i didn't care at all about the bees um time and space was a little bit interesting but i think the most important thing were the two characters trying to like love each other we have, um, what's her name? Regan and Aldo, and they both have their own issues. Regan is bipolar, and Aldo, I don't know how to describe what he is, or what he has, or what makes him him, except that he is intelligent. He's a mathematician, he's intelligent, and he doesn't view the world the same way as everyone else does, which is perfect because neither does Regan. And what we're getting is like these two meeting and interacting and mending their oh, how do I describe it themselves into each other's lives I think um for a lot of this book I felt like I was in a fever dream and not in a bad way and just that it made me feel so introspective it had me thinking a lot and I do have a few quotes um actually I have a lot of quotes that I journaled on Storygraph. However, I don't think I'm going to read all of them to you, but there's a few I think I can highlight that I think kind of gives you an idea what <laughs> this book is or like what it represents and stuff. I don't think I want to read anything that's too spoilery, so I'll skip the spoilery aspects or at least the quotes that can seem kind of spoilery. Sometimes I feel like I'm just waiting for something that will never happen. Like I'm just existing from day to day, but will never really matter. I get up in the morning because I have to, because I have to do something, or I'm just wasting space. Or because if I don't answer the phone, my dad will be alone. But it's an effort. It takes work. I have to tell myself every day, get up. Get up, do this, move like this, talk to people, be normal, try to be social, be nice, be patient. On the inside, 
I just feel like, I don't know, nothing. Like I'm just an algorithm that someone put in place. I could so relate to this. <laughs> oh, and then this this one, this is one up. This one you guys definitely have to hear. An ending is only an ending when both parties agree they've reached the end. Yeah. Anyways, I gave this four stars. It didn't feel like a five star for me, but I really enjoyed it. I didn't know if I would because of the Olive Blake she writes interestingly <laughs> she likes to mix these scientific concepts into her stories and it could either work for you or not that's the only way I can describe it like it could either work for you and you vibe with it and you power through the writing like the pretentious type of writing style or I guess you don't but I had a good time so those are my two and I think I won't tell you guys in this vlog what I'm reading next, but I will continue on the same path of reading in this sim realm of themes and topics. Um, I did promise you guys a haul. So before I sign off, let me show you guys what I got um, on Friday or before that. So I ordered um, some manga. Two of them I'm replacing because the way they came, <laughs> not so great in the... The box two of them look like they were already used and i'm just like no so i got the first four volumes of yun of the dawn except volume two so i have one three four one three four and five so we have one pretty two four and five and i'm returning one and three because yeah amazon do better and then i did get the books I mentioned in my other video, um, my haul video actually from last year, well not from last year but books that I hauled in 2022, Priest, the entire series. I don't know if it's done, I want to assume it's done but these were all the books they had and the covers are so pretty. Like look at this, oh it's so gorgeous. I love it, like I honestly love the covers, I love the purple on this, I don't know what type of flower it is um, but love it and then i got a um this was on sale all these were on sale on amazon us like boxing day sale i think and so i got them um i got for the wolf i already have for the throne so i can read this duology then i also have every heart of doorway it was finally on sale for a reasonable price because i'm not paying 20 bucks for a hardcover i think i paid like 10 or less i think 7.99 maybe so i got this as well as this bad boy here saga um book one i think this is the first three volumes of saga i haven't taken out the sealed packet yet but i think i'm gonna do not in like cozy or anything but this year i'd like to do the mic like, a vlog of me reading like graphic novels and manga because i'm trying to get more into them i do own a few so i have a few variety to read um but yeah those are all the books i hauled i had a somewhat great week I'm um, reading it's been up and down so I'm not forcing myself to read but it's been up and down in like my reading pace like some days I want to just read 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 and some days I'm like more laid back and only reading like a few pages a day so that's what it's been like I want to share some stats just before I sign off because I just remembered so the total books read that were on a tracker and these are all the books that people have submitted or remember to submit and I grabbed these first thing this morning <laughs> So anything else after that is different. But the total books read so far have been 18. The total pages read have been 4,655. Total hours listened, so if you listen to an audiobook, 11 and a half hours. And the average rating has been actually pretty average, 3.89. So we're almost at a four star. If you round it up, that's almost a four star. So yeah, it's been a pretty good reading week so far for I want to say for most of you I've been looking at the um the stats and you guys are not having a bad year so far you know I see a few five star reads so yeah and for anyone who has like anything like low like a two star I'm so sorry but you know we still have the rest of the month to catch up um but yeah I think I'll wrap it up for now and I'll see you in 
week two. Bye.